Lamogo, your current general secretary. Uh, and tonight we'll be finding out who the leaders of our students' union will be for the year 2020, 2021. God willing, we'll be all back in London together. Uh, but, but for now, we're virtual. Uh, I'll be handing over to our democracy committee who will be announcing the winners of our committee positions first, uh, then the winners of our part-time officers, then um, we'll be announcing the SU's new full-time officer team. Ah, great, we're recording now, fantastic. Hello again. Um, please bear with us if we have any technical issues. Um, this way of announcing results is of course new to us, uh, so there might be some minor teething problems as we've just uh, experienced. Um, but we'll also be live tweeting the results over at LSESU uh, on Twitter. And of course, Morgan's um, keeping us up to date on the Beaver feed as well. Thank you very much for that. Uh, it's, of course, been a turbulent time for all of us lately. Uh, it's not been easy at all, but I want to say thank you so much for your excellent campaigning. Thank you to the candidates who put themselves forward. Having been through it uh, at least four times myself, I know it's not easy. So, you know, well done to you all. I've seen the brilliant campaigns. Um, uh, so well done for the for taking the step. I've seen some incredibly creative campaigns personally. I've enjoyed the various memes and uh, artistic graphic design that you guys have put out. So well done on campaigning and getting your message out in a really creative and innovative way. Um, so thank you to everyone who voted as well. We had a total number of voters at um, 1,890, which is brilliant. We know that many of you will be contending with a lot of difficulties right now, uh, considering the current situation. So we're super grateful to everyone who took the time to decide the leaders of the CSU moving forward. And now it's the moment you've been waiting for. It's time for the results. And I'll be handing it over to Gulton Dana, who will be announcing the results of our committee positions. So over to you, Gulton. Bear with us whilst we switch over uh, the Instagram. Please bear with us while we get the technical things right. Well, I've logged out. We can get started. So firstly, I want to thank all of you for joining us tonight. We will firstly be announcing the results for our committee positions. Uh, the roles we will be announcing are Creative Network Chair, Careers Network Chair, Charity Campaigning and Political Network Chair, AU Executive and Democracy Committee. We will also be announcing the new members of the LSSU trustee board. Um, firstly, we have the result for the position of the creative network chair. There are two candidates for this role, um, Percy and reopen, nomina nom sorry, reopen nominations. Percy Fagent was Julie elected as the Creative Network Chair, so congratulations. Um, for the position of Careers Network Chair, there were two candidates, Eduard Pansiello, sorry for pronunciations, um, and reopen nominations. Eduard was elected as the Careers Network Chair. Congratulations, Eduard. On to the third position uh, for charity campaigning and political network chair. There were three candidates. Anna Seifu, Jessica Takdar, and reopen nominations. Anna was elected as the new charity campaigning and political network chair. Congratulations, Anna. We can now announce our new AU executive. Uh, there were four candidates. Madeleine Crosby Wilshire, Bronwyn Jackson Turner, Stephanie Zahlan de Caetti, and reopen nominations. Stephanie, uh, Madeleine, and Bronwyn Turner were elected. Congratulations to the new AU executive. Moving on to democracy committee, 
there were four candidates, Rafi Ahmed, Adam Kiewer, uh, Jason Reed, and reopen nominations. Rafi Ahmed, Jason Reed, and Adam Kiewer were all elected onto the Democracy Committee. Congratulations to you all. That's all from me. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Goltan. I will now be announcing the part-time officers. Please bear with us just a minute or two while we switch everything over onto my desk. I of the trustee board. If you could just bear with us while we get those out to you as well. Hi everyone, so I'll be announcing the results of the part-time officers and also the new members of the trustee board for the 2020 to 2021 um, section. Um, first, we had a very tight contention in the trustee board elections. Um, there were a total of 195 votes for uh, the trustee board. The candidates were Aditya Agarwal, Frederick, Tae Young, Adam, Eduardo, Aditya, and Jason Reed. And if we could just bear with, I'm hearing that we have some technical issues. Apologies for this. Okay, hopefully that should be sorted. Apologies for that again. Um, the first round of results were as followed for the trustee board. Aditya Agarwal, 97 votes. Frederick, six votes. Tae Young, 169 votes. Mm -hmm. um, had 178. Adam had 17. Aditya Rajan had 127. Jason Reed had 55. And Vaughn was on 46. And after that round, um, there were a few eliminations. And we said goodbye to Frederick, Adam, Jason, Aditya Agarwal, and Aditya Rajan, which left us with two candidates, Eduardo and Tai Young, who won with 240 and 204 votes, respectively. So congratulations to um, Eduardo, who uh, won the final round, as there was one position on for the member of trustee board. Congratulations to Eduardo, the new member of the trustee board. Now we will going into the part-time officers. And the part-time officers that I'll be announcing shortly are RAG president, AU president, LGBT officer, BME officer, anti-racism officer, women's officer, international students officer, social mobility and class officer, and finally environment and ethics officer, possibly our most contested position of the night. So, on the first position, RAG president, we had Alice and reopen nominations. Alice received 769 votes, while reopen nomination received 66 votes. That means that Alice, are your new RAG president, with 769 votes. So congratulations to Alice. Next, um, we had uh, the election for the new Athletics Union president. There were 973 votes cast for this role. We had Carrie Doyle and reopen nominations. Kerry received 897 votes. Reopen nominations received 76 votes. That means Kerry is now your new AU president. So congr congratulations to Kerry Doyle. 
Next, we had our LGBT officer. Now for this position, we had two candidates running. Sorry, I hear there's some issue with Instagram. So I'm going to try and keep this in my hand while I'm bringing this out. Apologies again for any technical issues. Um, for LGBT officer, we had two candidates running and there were 202 votes cast. We had Tiago and Max and Ron, which is real for nominations, of course. In the first round, Tiago received 98 votes. Max received 93 votes and reopen nominations received 11 votes. Now, when reopen nominations was um, eliminated and the second preference votes were counted, Tiago was on 98 votes and Max was on 94 votes. That means that Tiago is your new LGBT plus officer for 2020 to 2021. So congratulations to Tiago. Next, we have the black and minority ethnic uh, officer position. And for this role, there were 283 votes cast. Um, the candidates were Sabir and Frederick, and in the first round, Sabir won 140 votes, and Frederick won 58 votes, with 85 votes cast for Ron. After Ron was eliminated, and due to no candidates receiving a uh, majority in that round, the votes were retallied, and Sabir received 162 votes, meaning that Sabir is your new BME officer. Um, for 2020 to 2021. So congratulations to Sabir. Next, we had the um, anti-racism officer. Um, there were three candidates for this position. We had Parameshwar Bawa, Yusuf Farkhan, and Faizo Kadia. Um, in the first round of voting, there were 171 votes for Parameshwar, um, 280 for Yusuf, and 428 for Faizo and 46 votes for Ron. Um, because there were no outright winners in the first round, we retallied the votes in the following rounds and eliminated Ron and Parameshwar, meaning that there were two candidates left, Faizo and Yusuf. Faizo received 477 votes and Yusuf received 317 votes. That means that Faizo is your new anti-racism officer for 2020 to 2021. So congratulations to Faizo. Now, as we're halfway through, next position is women's officer. And there were 637 votes cast for this position with um, four candidates running, not counting Ron. The candidates were Rachel, Kashwi, Gabriella, and Sumaya. In the first round of voting, Rachel received 107 votes. Kashvi received 52 votes. Bear with me. Kashvi received 52 votes, Gabriella received 28 votes, Sumaya received 343 votes, and Ron received seven votes. That, uh, therefore, due to winning an outright majority in the first round of voting, Sumaya is your new women's officer for 2020 to 2021. So congratulations to Sumaya. Brilliant. Um, next position is the international students officer. Um, there were four candidates running and 775 votes cast. The candidates were Rafi, Jay, Eduardo, and Jessica. In the first round of voting, Rafi won 56 votes, uh, Jay won 134, Eduardo at, a, at 356, and Jessica at 174, with Ron coming in at 55 votes. No one was elected in the first round of voting, um, so there were several more rounds, and during those, we said goodbye to Ron and Rafi. This left us with three candidates, running for the position of international students officer. We had Jay at 138, Eduardo at 361, and Jessica at 186. Therefore, having secured an overall majority. Uh, and the penultimate position is for social mobility and class officer. There were four candidates for this position. We and 242 votes cast. We had Adam, Isra, Saudia and Josh. In the first round of voting, Adam received seven votes, Isra 150, Saudia 21, Josh 55, and Ron had nine votes. Having secured an overall majority in the first round of voting, that means Isra is your new social mobility and class officer, so congratulations to her. Brilliant. Now, finally, to um, the most contentious of these positions for this night, uh, for this round of voting, 
the, for these uh, for this section of positions. We have the environment and ethics officer, and there were two this 972 votes cast for this position. I believe I need to repeat international officer because there was a cutout. So please allow me to return to that, and we'll finish with environment and ethics in just a moment. So just to reiterate, the international students officer position was won by Eduardo with, a, with 361 votes. So that's Eduardo at the international students as your new international students officer. So congratulations again, and apologies for the technical issues. Um, going to the final part-time officer position, we have the environment and ethics officer with 972 votes in total cast. There were five candidates for this position. In the first round of voting, Ellie Cottrell received 428 votes, Mohamed Faraz was on 62 votes, Young Jung was on 102, Anastasi Smalaslova was on 56 votes, and Saskia Straub was on 296 votes. Ron received 28 votes. No one was elected in the first round of voting, so um, there were several more rounds done, and um, we said goodbye to Ron, Anastasi, and Mohamed. This left us with three candidates, Ellie, Tae Young, and Saskia. Ellie received 454 votes, Tae Young 119 votes, and Saskia 310, meaning Ellie is your new environment and ethics officer, so congratulations to Ellie. And with that said, um, we are now finished with the part-time officers and we'll be going into the full-time sabbatical roles. Uh, there will be a few minutes delay while we switch everything over, but I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in and pass you over to Josh Freeman, who will see us through the night. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Boy. Thank you very much, Jerry. Just bear with us a moment while we get the Instagram sorted. Oh, yeah. Okay, everyone, thank you very much, and thank you, Sharif, for that. I'm now going to give you the results for the full-time officer positions. These are the four full-time sabbatical officers. Uh, I'm going to start off with activities and development officer. I'm then going to go to community and welfare officer. I'm then going to go to education. And finally, I'll be announcing the results of the general secretary position. Uh, for the, res so the results for activities and development officer, uh, there were 1,206 votes cast in total. Apart from reopen nominations, there are two candidates for the position. The candidates are Eleanor Duplock, Azad Sadiq, and reopen nominations. In the first round, the results were as follows. Eleanor Duplock received 631 votes. Azad Sadiq received 538 votes. Reopen nominations received 37 votes which means that in the first round, Eleanor Duplock was elected with 631 votes. Congratulations, Eleanor Duplock, your new activities and development officer. I'm next going to read out the results for the position of community and welfare officer. There were 1,064 valid votes cast in this election. Apart from reopen nominations, there are two candidates for the position. The candidates are Laura Dowling and Laura Goddard as well as reopen nominations. In the first round, the votes were as follows. Laura Dowling received 232 votes. Laura Goddard received 797 votes. Reopen nominations received 35 votes. Therefore, Laura Goddard has been elected as your new community and welfare officer for 2020-21. Uh, next, we come to the position of education officer. Uh, there were 1,008 votes cast in total. Apart from reopen nominations, there were seven candidates for this position who were uh, Bali Birchley, Sebastiano Khalifi, Inez Belchior, Eileen Gwagbo, Mikhail Sveta, Ratika, and of course, reopen nominations. In the first round, the votes were as follows. Bali received 158 votes. Sebastiano received eight. 
Inez received 131 votes. Eileen received 514 votes. Mikhail received 76 votes. Sveta received eight votes. And Pratika received six votes, as well as Rio for nominations, which received 35 votes. Therefore, Eileen Bagbo was elected in the first round to the position of education officer. And finally, we have the position of general secretary. There were 1,547 valid votes cast in this election. Apart from re nominations, we have two candidates for this position, who are David Gordon and Yusuf Rafiq, sorry, as well as re nominations. In the first round, uh, the votes were as follows. Yusuf received 576 votes. David received 927 votes. Ron received 44 votes. Therefore, David Gordon has been elected as general secretary in the first round of voting. Congratulations, David. That should be the full results of all our elections. Thank you everyone so much for tuning in. Uh, one more thing we have to announce, which is that uh, uh, we are also going to be passing or aiming to pass a special resolution at a general meeting taking place on the 1st of June. There'll be the ability to make a proxy vote online and it will be a great opportunity to help us pass a resolution which is going to allow for better governance and the flexibility to adapt to changing needs of members. Thank you very much for turning up tonight. Congratulations to all of the candidates for what was some really, really strong campaigns. We look forward to the coming year ahead. Thank you, everyone, so, so much, and we'll see you all very soon. Well done.